Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If, what if Story. We're back again with this series. Uh, last time on uh, What If Ducky was Harley Quinn's son. As he was captured, you know, through Batman and and Waller had him transported to a unknown location where she recruited him in the, um, the Suicide Squad. By terms of, you know, him behaving or she'll blow him up. His head will go pop, pretty much. Zizekyu, um, Grimm was forced to do a little initiation mission to show to show his teammates that he is um, more qualified. He's a plenty, uh, plenty qualified to be on their team. As Deadshot wants to see him in action as he was quite intent with his performance. And he is, um, he's well versed in um, the medical field as how the family that, you know, kind of kidnapped and adopted him. They train him. He, Izuku is very bright, very smart. See, when it comes to chemicals, gas form, he's talented at that. He got that from, you know, the Joker side of the family. He's also immune to all such chemicals. And he's also have a, he's also have a keen eye for cork research. As he was ordered, as he took the mission, as he uh, then came across um, Batgirl and Catwoman, as he saved them, as he offered them a little deal, if they if they could get to um, sorry, if they could get to um, Igma before he could, he won't kill him. But they lost that bet. As we, as we're going to pick up where we left off. As they were told that they were attacking some unknown organization from Japan that's trying to establish a foothold in Gotham. They've already established a foothold in, um, Metropolis. Batman, um, Superman's territory. Had to split it off in teams because there's a couple of, um, strongholds that, that they have in Gotham. Waller wants them eradicated. Waller already knows that Gotham's already have enough crazies. They don't need another, um, to stir the pot. So Ivy did, um, request that Ivy and Harleen, Harley gets teamed up with, um, Grimm. If he didn't, uh, Ivy would have killed him. Harley is suspicious that Grimm is her son. She hasn't seen his face. She won't know until she sees his eye color, his eyes. She was able to see her, like, her son's eyes long enough before, she, um, before um, he was taken from her. It's still nighttime as everyone moves out to, um, to start their mission. As you have Harleen and Ivy, as they tell you to follow them, as they get into a um, a aircraft, um, let's say a helicopter. As they are fl flying in the air, as they finally get to the location, ma'am, we're we're here. Pilot looks behind him as he sees um. Grim gets up to the door as he opens it. It's a um, bigger helicopter. Let's say it's like a carrier kind of. Holds more than one. Holds more than like three people. Is able to what more room? As wait, what are you doing, Grim? As Grim jumps down. As um, Ivy made some plants for her and Hardling to go down. As Harleen was about to follow Izuku's example, but Ivy stopped her because, you know, a fall like that would kill her. As you have Izuku, as all you hear is a loud bang noise as there's a crater 
underneath Izuku as he landed on his feet with his hands on the ground. As he's down on one knee. The noise was loud enough for the, um, the villain, the League of Villains, to come rushing out of their base as they immediately saw Izuku. What the hell is this freak show? I suggest you get out of here, kid. Or you're dead. My apology, my apologies, gentlemen, but I'm here. I'm afraid I'm going to have to kill you all. Unless you alone? I highly doubt it. I'm not alone. As he tilts his head, as a wave of vines starts rushing through the men, capturing them. As you have Harleen coming in with her bat, bashing people head with her, um, sorry, as she's bashing people with her bat. Izuku rush forward as he sliced the door open. As Izuku busts in and immediately he comes in as he comes a wave of fire. As Izuku has to jump backwards, reflect a couple of bullets while he's jumping backwards. What's wrong, kid? As Ivy's this, this, what's, what, what's the holdup? Miss Ivy, um, I might be able to reflect bullets. But I cannot reflect assault rifles. They are fires too fast a rate. I can't keep up with how fast the bullet flies per second. I'm fast, but I'm not that fast. Not yet, at least. As Izuku pulls a, a vial out of, out, out of his suit. Well, it's on his belt, on his, on the side of his um waist, is of as he opens the vial. As there's different color vials. As Harleen and uh, Ivy, what are those? Trade trade secret, Miss Harleen. As he jabs one a minute, he jabs one of the vials in his neck. Immediately, he see you gets in. As he gets out of the corner, gets in a running, st a, a, a um, a um, assassin stance, as they immediately are firing off on Izuku, as he uh, immediately disappears from their vision, as all Harley and um, Ivy can see his body parts flying everywhere, as they see Izuku second later behind the men, as they all fall to pieces, as he swipes his claw, as blood starts splatter over the wall. This is pretty much, they're, everyone's fodder here at that base. There's no Nomu presence in, um, they don't have any Nomus in Gotham. Majority of the Nomus in America are coming from Metropolis. Superman's unaware of their existence because the person running the League of Villains in America, they're smart. They're keeping, they're keeping it under the radar. So Harleen and Ivy and uh, Izuku goes around taking out the villains. Izuku's killing them. Harley is not really, she's not trying to kill them. I mean, she's killed a few, but majority of them are just knocked out. As they finally get to the main room, where the leader of the cell is. As he immediately kicks the door open as it flies off his hinges, the hinges. As the door flies past a couple of the men in the room. As it got, in, it got implanted in, in, into the wall. As they all stare at Izuku. My apologies for the door. But no matter. You won't care. Because you're all dead, man. Because you're already dead. Got a lot of nerve coming in here. Killing my people. Do you, do you even have the clue who we work for? Who we are? No, I do not. Please. Indulge me. Who exactly are you? And who do you exactly work for?
As one of the guys is about to blab who they were, as the, his comrade stabs him in the stabs in the back, killing him. You idiot! He's trying to get information out of you. Kill him. Kill the rest of them too. The the two women. Get rid of them. As he sees a man, man. His quirk is, you know, a simple quirk. He's able to morph his hand into a, any, um, any, um, any melee weapon. Like a sword, any, any bladed weapon. Just only one arm. It's very laughable quirk, but that's, that's pretty much what his quirk is. Miss Hardling and Miss Ivy, you handle the rest. The big shot over there, he's mine. As they all nod, as the ma the bow commence, as you have Izuku dodging and weaving, as the the League of Villain member morphs his hand into uh, his arm into a sword, as he says, dodging it very gracefully, not even not even caring, as he's making cracks about his fighting stance and his quirk. Many quirks in my day. Yours is one dimensional. At best. Shut up, kid, and die. That's moving. Huh. You almost got me there. You almost gave me a nice trim. How about the other side? As he's getting irritated, as Izuku is just taunting him. The man tries to slash at Izuku. As Izuku finally had enough of this. As he ha he he morphs his hand into his claws, as he gives a one clean swipe, cutting right through the sword, and the man screaming out in pain. As he lifts him up in the air, as he slams him in into the wall. Well, actually, as he grabs him by the hair, pulls him. As he grabs him by the neck and throws him, pins him to the wall. As he has his hand around his neck, lifting him up. What is your organize what is your organization called? And who's your master? I know you're following someone. You're clearly not not the you're clearly not the one in charge. You lack vision. Matter not. As he's like you his opposite side of his opposite um waist. As is a um vial full of empty vials. As he um jacks it into the man's neck, as he fills it up in blood. Your cork might be pathetic, but I can make some use of it at least. As he puts it in his container, what the hell are you doing? You don't need to worry about that, my man. You don't need to worry about anything at all. Just answer my questions and. You may leave in one piece. If not, as his hand as he puts his hands right next to his guy's face, I might have to get creative. As he's like you, as the man starts screaming, as he's like you begins torturing him. In the middle of the fight, mind mind you. As when a couple of the League of Villains try to shoot Izuku, Izuku Reflects the bullets with his claws without even looking at him. Oh, where were we, my good sir? Ah, oh, yeah. Torture. As he begins carving into the man. It's, I'll, I'll tell you. Please stop. We are not League of Villains. Our master is a man called All Four. As the, the man's head explodes. Oh, dear. As he, he wasn't paying attention to Harley and um, Ivy. As he sees um, Ivy holding on to Harley. And as she, she got shot on the arm. It's The bullet got lunged into her arm. As he, he sees that. As he walks calmly over to the League of Villains. My apologies, ladies. I'll deal with these ruffians. 
as he goes in and slaughtering them all. As, um, as he looks back at Harley, as she's, you know, wincing in pain. Sit down, Miss Tom Harley, as she's, why? Please, humor me. One of the pouches, he has a, um, he has a, um, little first aid kit he, uh, he always carries as a, a, as someone of, you know, me medical field, he would have something like that. He's always had to stitch himself up after, you know, if he came across someone that was talented enough to fight him. Here, you might want to take this as, what is this? It's morphine. Just take it, please. I'm a doctor. And she looks at him. You a doctor? You're way too young to be a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm, I'm not licensed, but nonetheless, I do have the knowledge. It seems like your um bone stopped the bullet from going straight through. You're lucky that your um arm's not broken. Here, um, I'm gonna. The drugs should be taken in about about 15 minutes. Then I'll begin to have a seizure. Don't worry, it the pain should um should cease. Tiziku takes out some utensils as he um as he um, opens the wound a little bit. As he takes out the bullet. As Harleen's like thanks. As are you gonna wrap it up? No need. As Har 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 um, Harley is like, what do you mean? As he jabs up in, in her neck. It's a very gold liquid. And she's like, what the hell is that? What what, what did you inject me with? Don't worry, it will help. It's not permanent, so it's good for the next 24 hours. As she sees her wound slowly healed up. What the hell is this? What the hell did you give me? A trade secret. As he puts a finger between his lips on his mask. As he um points to the earpiece. As Yeah, Waller doesn't know about his um his little his little vials that he like he, he likes to carry around. As uh, uh, they get a, um, I need your, uh, I need backup now immediately. This is Deadshot. We're being overran. This is, um, Graham, what's the situation? The situation is we got some sort of Frankenstein creature over here. They're overrunning us. We need your assistance now. Do you have, um, do you have photo evidence of these, um, so-called monsters you're referring to. Yes, I'm seeing it now. We're on our way. Come on, um, Miss Harleen and Ivy, we need to get going. We have some more interesting things to do. It's immediately easy to get the, um, the footage, picture of these creatures, as it's the Nomo. It's fascinating. Interesting. That my curiosity has peaked. As unfortunately for um, Deadshot, majority of the sorry, I I know I said majority of the no no, no moves in America are um, are in Metropolis, but they did have um, the base he was at. Izuku, there's no no moves, but the base at um, but the base at Deadshot's location, there was. Some time has passed as Izuku's standing in front of the building as he sees, you know, King Shark got thrown out of the building as he sees these big creatures. No moves. Oh, um, these serums that Izuku's been injecting himself and people? <laughs> He's, um, done extremely um a lot amount of research into quarks in general 
so he's he dev, he found a way to um actually give get himself some temporary quirks. Temporary. They're not permanent copies, they're temporary. He saw them he some some of his some of his, his, his um, experiments with his quirk research. Yeah, um the body can't hold a whole lot of quirks. It goes through some sort of metamorphosis. Body does can't contain that many quirks. So Izuku down the line decided he's gonna give himself quirks that that um complements his own quirk. As the Nomu is about to stomp, oh sorry, as the Nomu is about to about to attack um King Shark. As immediately, um, King Shark noticed someone was in front of him as he was getting ready to block the attack as Izuku has the Nomu by one hand, stopping the fist from hitting King Shark. Fascinating. As Izuku's not even paying attention to King Shark, he's looking on, he's, a, he's expecting a Nomu. As the Nomu comes to, the to push Izuku back. As he's being pushed back a little bit, he's powerful. You think he's pretty powerful when it, when it comes to physical, but this is something else. He's never had to deal with someone that has a superior strength. Interesting. As the Nomu immediately socks Izuku as he's go flying into a wall. As Izuku's implanting the wall as he just gets out casually. As his um his regen his regeneration power of his quirk, it's just, yeah it fixes any damage that Izuku takes. As long as there's nothing important is damaged, Izuku can heal from that straight pretty instantly. It just takes a little bit for him to um, recover from a fatal injury. That uh that punctures a fatal organ. That will take some time to heal. As you can decide to dust himself off as he instead of going into attack, he's 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 observing the battlefield. As he knows some of the villains are giving orders. As he immediately appears right be um be uh behind one of them giving giving the Nomu's orders as he slit his throat. As Izuku mimic the voice of the person just killed as the Nomu stops. Nomu, kill the rest of the Nomu. As the Nomu goes rushing off, this wiping out the rest of the Nomu and the rest of the villains. Stand down, Nomu. You're to follow every order given to you by. Me, as he, yeah, it, it didn't work. As Nomu tried to attack Izuku, as oh, I'm gonna have to work on that. But you are quite a fascination creature. As he told Nomu to stand down. Now, Miss Waller, yes, Grim, I want this one. Nomu intrigues me. I want to know what are these things? And if they're not people, and how and then how are they made? As long as you give me author authorization to do what I want with these Nomu, this Nomu, I won't kill you immediately once I get free. Allow this, I might change my mind. Fine, whatever. Just continue the mission. Understood. Grim out. As the rest will round up the rest of the villains, the ones left alive. Now I'm going to ask you a few questions. Well, technically one question. 
I already know what your organization called the League of Villains. What I want to know is who is your master? Tell me. Gentlemen. Why would you tell? We won't tell you anything. You're going to kill us. Anyways. You are correct. You are going to die. That's a guarantee. But the way you're going to die, it could be good or bad. A swift kill that I will provide. Or you'll be my friend Snack. As he points to um, King Shark. As King Shark, what? I'm confused. Simple. Mr. Shark. You're going to eat them. Oh, I understand now. Yeah, definitely. I could go as a snack. Now, what, what, do you, what choice do you make, boys? Clean death? Or a very slow, uh, agonizing death by eating alive by a shark? My, my apologies, um, King Shark. Shark person. You don't, we don't know his name, his real name. All he knows, he goes by all for one. Interesting. Tell me more about this. All for one. As there's gunshots here, as all of the guys intimately getting shot in the head one after another. Seems like a bullet curved in it. It, it was only one bullet as... The bullet curved and um, hit all the men, all the League of Ill members in the head, killing them. Oh dear, we got ourselves a sniper. Dead shot, that's your territory. Understood. All time, dead shot got a um, clear view of the building where the bullet came from. They were gone. It's like no one was there. This dead shot looks at the of uh, the shooting ground. This is as she um as he kneels down as he touches the ground as he sees um gunpowder vapor. Yeah, this is definitely the spot. But to think someone can make a shot like that, even even I would find it challenging, not impossible, but challenging. This person's good. This is, they finish up what they're doing. Ezekiel and the rest. As he, um, he, um, Grim, the sniper's um, gone. Whoever it was, it was gone long before, um, they must have, uh, evacuated immediately after they, they took the shot. Understood. It matters not. You're the team leader, and it's your decision. I got what I want. I want this thing prepped in a laboratory immediately. As he told some of the, Waller's people as they transport this this, uh, this creature. Immediately when Ezekiel gets back, he goes strictly into the lab. As he begins to examining this Nomu. It's under heavy uh, sustraints. As he tests the blood, see what this thing is. Remarkable. This is not just a person. This is several people mixed into one. That would explain. And according to my findings, this thing has more than one quirk. Fascinating. So, whoever made this found a way to somewhat stabilize a working body. I mean, the original is long dead, but still, this is a remarkable work. Only that, they have it, they have it voice commanded in, for um, insurance, pro probably. To keep them under control, make sure they don't go wild. Total obedient weapons. Very interesting. I've already, I've already broke their little code, so this one won't be betraying me, ever. I've been unknown to um Izuku. He's being observed. While he's observing the Nomu. The leader of the League of Villains in uh, in um, Metropolis is a, is observing him. Once I break the formula, I could recreate recreate these creatures, add my flair to it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. 
Well, I can make I can make all sorts of trouble for 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 some of these heroes. Interesting. This is going to be so much fun. You, my friend, as he grabs onto Nemo's face, as Izuki gets very close to him, you are going to make so much chaos. And the byproduct of you is going to provide so much entertainment. It's going to be a hell of a show. To Metropolis, as you have Yuri in the back room watching, watching um, a monitor as she's looking through, um, sorry. She has someone that's connected to all the Nomu that's under her control. As he's, um, broadcast, um, she's, sorry, the person is putting the images through the monitor. As she's observing Izuku. Interesting. Keep eye on that one. That could be a possible recruit. Aren't you, ma'am, aren't you mad that he destroyed one of the, our bases in Gotham? Uh, Gotham was a nice idea, but we already have a main, um, establishing, um, metropolis. We don't need them. I only gave him that base because I needed him out of the way. And, you know, no loss to us. They didn't learn much. That's the name of our, of the League of Villains, and name of my father's name, but nothing else got spread, so no matter, it doesn't matter. If he, if he becomes a threat, I'll deal with him personally. Shouldn't we, um, get, shouldn't we destroy that Nomu? No. Let it, let him have it. I'm curious how much he could learn from Dr. Ujiko's work. Keep him under surveillance. I want to know what he does, what time, where he goes, who he talks to. And I want a background check on this, on this Grim. He's, he's piqued my interest. A few days has passed as Izuki's been testing out a couple theories with the Nemu. As he's been giving the Nemu, um, temporary corks. As he wants to see the reaction on the body. Whoever this all for one is. He definitely is knowledgeable about corks. He's most likely has either he's knowledgeable at himself or he has someone under him that's well versed in um, cork research. But how is there's only one way to get corks I know of it's through the blood. It's a very difficult process to do, but it's doable. So how is he getting the corks? It can't be just the blood. There must be another source. As he has the Nomu on the... On the table. You know, a cutting table. As he begins, you know, po poking and prodding it into the creature. As he knows, it, he has a very weak regeneration cork. As he's like, interesting. Not as good as mine. My regeneration power. Part of my quirk, but not bad. He takes off his mask. You, my friend, are a work of art. But I see ways I can improve you. I just gotta find the correct combination of quirks to suit you better. Izuku, by now, he's rewired uh, Nomu to listen to him and him alone. So, Izuku, you know, kind of took the Nomu and made his own little personal guard. So we cut to... As we cut to a flashback about... In the middle of his uh, reprogramming... Uh, reprogramming... Oh, sorry. Reprogramming the Nomu. That should do it. It's all done. Insurance, in case Waller tries to do something. Not so nice. As Izuku tells the Nomu, 
This is your main, uh, this is a side ejection, Nomu. If Waller orders any harm towards me, you're to immediately activate and go on a, and kill everyone. Understood? As the, the Nomu doesn't have no speech, but it understood the order. This order will not be activated until such such conditions are met. As he sets up the Nomu with several protocols. Several different ones. In different situations. As the flashback ends, as Waller's on inter intercom, Grim, I need you in my office immediately. I need you to, de to debrief me. Understood. I understood, ma'am. On my way. My new friend? I'm off. This. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. As he leaves his um, little laboratory, as. Quinn's waiting for him. Oh, hello, Miss Quinn. What can I help you with? I just wanted to thank you. And she goes and he rushes over to give him a hug. And she's like, no problem, Miss Harleen. After the meeting, can we have a conversation? I believe that's possible, Miss Harleen. Thanks. I'll catch you later. See you later. As he walks off and turns the corner. As Ivy's stand, leaning against the wall. Did he ever, did he get everything all settled? Um, set up. Yeah, I got it set up. I've. Did he grab? Did he get it? Yeah, I got it. And she holds a device in her hand. As it animates electricity. Good. Sure, want to do this, um, Harleen. Waller's probably not going to be too happy with uh, with us. I don't give a shit what she wants. She knew she knew Grim was my son the whole time and didn't say anything. She's just streaming along to use me to get what she wants and toss me aside. No, I'm not allowing that happen to my son. Once I deal with, once I get him out of here, then we could work on what we're gonna deal with dollhouse. I want that bitch dead. She stole my boy from me. She stole many years I missed. Once I get my son, I'm gonna disappear for a while. It's only a matter of time before um you know, my ex finds out about Izuku. Uh, she doesn't know his name yet, but, but, but Grim. After what we found out by the test, by the hair samples I was able to grab from him, he's biological my son. While it'll get come to her, but, but my boy's safety is my main concern, to get that bomb out of his, out, out of his head. This device will allow me to help with that. Basically, as he steps into Miss Waller's office, please sit down. As he does. So, what intel do you have for me? Yeah, apparently this um organization it's called the League of Villains, run by a man called All for One. I think it's a man. They didn't really specify it was a he or a she. They're um somehow they're a They've made um, humanoid weapons, the Nomus. That's why I was so keen on keeping one of them alive. I'm keen on keeping it. It's a fascinating creature. I'm learning a whole sorts of things from it. Whoever created this thing, he's smart. I don't know how he's doing it, ma'am, but he's allowing these creatures. Giving them corks. I managed the carnage that would cost. If this all for one breed an army of these things, 
and decided he wanted to take over. Not this little country, the world. Something like this on someone's exposal? It's, it's a possibility. So, my advice to you, ma'am. Locate this man and kill him immediately. And that's all. You're free to go, Grim. Very well, ma'am. I'll be in my laboratory if you need me. Understood. As Izuku walks away, as he goes back to his laboratory. All right, yeah, I was supposed to talk to Harleen. As he hears footsteps behind him. As he's, you know, picking up some stuff, as it's me, um, Grim. Oh, Harleen, I was, I was, I was, I was about to go find you. I'm just picking up a couple things before I went to, when I was going to search for you. It's no problem. I'm sorry about this, kid. I'm sorry about this, son. As, what? What What you mean, son? As immediately, as you get shocked the back of the head. As he screams out, as he falls to the ground uh, unconscious. As by doing so, she picks up Izuku as the Nomu went berserk in the laboratory. In one of the laboratories that Izuku was um, keeping him. As there's a ruckus on the base. And enough of diversion that helped with um, Harley's um, escape plan. She could leave any time, but Izuku is a different story. She joined them this time willingly. She wasn't forced to like the last time. Well, like the last couple times. So was um, Ivy went because, you know, she wasn't going to let Harley do something like this all, all alone. So she tagged along just to make sure Harley doesn't kill herself. As Harley made a um, clean escape as they're in the vehicle, as, as they're driving. As you have, you know, Harleen in the car, as she looks down at, at Izuku in, in the back seat. Now she's just worried about him because she electrocutes him pretty, pretty heavily. She put on the max setting. Don't worry, Harleen. He's, he's all, he's fine. He's just knocked out. You kind of gave him a little overboard. You kind of went overboard there. I had to be careful. I had to be sure. You know what says, you know, apparently, he's, he's anything like me and my ex, his father. I had to be sure. You have him? And she's like, yeah, I, I have him here. Put him on him. Are you sure you want to go this far, um, Harley? Har Harley. If you just simply, you know, talk to him, I will. As, as soon as you put those shrimps on him. Come on, it's not like I'm changing him up or anything. Just canceling off his little abilities, that's all. There's this... There's this court canceling. It's not like I'm going to chain him up into it like a um, dungeon or anything. As oh, I'm sorry. As Poison Ivy looks at Harleen like, like you know, she totally would do something like that. Of Harleen says she takes a sharp turn to a, a corner. She says, um, at least the device to be um because it's it wasn't um Im implanted. In his skull, the shock should have sort circuit the device, but we need to make sure we need to take it out fast. As she stops into a um abandoned um hospital, as they rush Izuku in there, they put him on a table. As Harley begins, you know, open Izuku head up, his back of his head, pulling out the device and crushing it. As she takes off the the, um, the core canceling stuff off him for a couple minutes, as it, he heals right back up, as she slapped it back on him. Leave now. Waller should be sending people after us eventually. As they vacate the hospital, as they get to one of their one of um one of Ivy's safe houses. 
Yeah, it's uh, outside of Gotham City. Yes, it's, it's in a you know forest that's protected by her. That she owns the land over there. Scratch that. Harley and Ivy take um Izuku underneath Gotham. The original Gotham that's underneath the old, basically old Gotham. That's underneath Gotham City. As Harley has Izuku chained to a chair, as his hands behind his back, as she sits on the chair in front of him, and she's waiting for him to get up. As oh, Ivy, are you sure you want to go about this way? Don't worry, he's my son. But he doesn't know that. Don't worry, he he will eventually. He might be angry at me at, at first, but he'll forgive me eventually. Have you found that bitch's location? No, we, I haven't. She, um, she disappeared. We don't, she hasn't resurfaced yet. But the moment I heard, the moment that I hear she's resurfaced, you'll be the first one to know. Good, Ivy. Thanks. Thanks, Red. Ah, oh, good. He's getting up. Ivy, we'd be on dear and give me some privacy with my son. Fine, just don't kill him. I want to kill my son. Hurt him, but not kill him. As Ivy walks out, leaving Harleen and Izuku alone. As Izuku gains consciousness, as he shakes his head to, to knock the cobwebs out of his face, out of his head. You know, shake the cobwebs. Whoa. Oh, so this is how this is. What's going on? Did Waller put you up to this? Oh, Waller had nothing to do to do nothing with this. This is all me. We need to have a talk. As we're gonna probably stop it there. Yeah, I know it sucks to put that stop it right there, but I have to because. Yeah, we're almost at 50 minutes, so. Now. Hmm. Let's see, um. This will probably be back, um. Next Monday or Tuesday. One of those, either, um, next Monday or Tuesday. I haven't decided what day it will be, but it, it will be back. I will release the next part on, on my day off. My next day off. So you guys will be seeing, you know, the next conclusion to this cliffhanger i guess so hope you guys have a good night and day judge my time zones and i'll catch you in the next video